We present a system for high-fidelity facial animation in VR. Face tracking in VR is a unique challenging problem because a large portion of the face are occluded by the VR headset. In this work, we use cameras mounted on the headset to drive a personal photorealistic avatars presented last year. I knew it! Oh my gosh! I tried it a few times. Hot yoga, I just want to... Oh my gosh, I sweat so much, I'm just... I melt in there. I, like... <laughs> but like, the session ends... Our system runs live in real time, and it works for a wide range of expressions, including puffing cheeks, biting lips, moving tongues, and details like wrinkles that are hard to be precisely animated for previous methods. We use our method to build a two-way communication system for authentic social interactions in VR. What do you do for exercise? Um, I like I oh so I I do yoga and then I do <sighs> boxing too. What kind of and yoga? Wait, okay, yeah. yoga and boxing. Yeah, <laughs> there's a nice contrast. Yeah. There. Okay. Compared to previous work, which uses depth sensor or mouth cameras at a very low position. Our method uses three infrared cameras mounted on a compact headset. As a result, the oblique angles increased difficulty to track details on the face. Our goal is to train an encoder to convert input images to a facial expression code in real time. This code will be later decoded to a 3D avatar. However, there is no trivial way to get precise correspondence between input and output as training data. To solve this problem, we built another headset with six additional cameras at more accommodating positions to help establish correspondence. Once we correspond the nine view images with the avatar, we can simply drop additional views to get the training data we need. We use the idea of analysis by synthesis approach, estimating facial expression and headset position from input images. If our estimation is correct, the rendered avatar should align with input images in every view. However, because of the large domain gap, we cannot directly compare them. To close domain gap, we train generative adversarial networks to perform image style translation. A key requirement here is that the facial expressions should be unmodified and consistent across views. After inputs are style transferred to avatar's domain, we can optimize expression code and headset position by computing loss in image space with a differentiable rendering layer. In this way, we can obtain frame-level correspondence without any semantic labels. Here is an example of our result on speech data. Pay attention to the subtle eyebrow movement that is hard to be annotated. I put such a high value on being top dog. A good morrow to you, my boy. All your wishful thinking won't change that. Nobody else showed pleasure. Here, we show more style transferred results and the corresponding 3D avatar. Our method considers multi-view consistency. Compared with a per-view cycle game baseline, our result is more temporarily stable and preserves semantics better. We also present background-aware differentiable rendering to prevent local minimum. With this technique, the 3D avatar can be optimized purely from image loss without sample-specific initialization. Compared to Oshersky's method, which relies on semantic labels, our result is much closer to users' actual behavior without being affected by users' inconsistency when collecting data. 
for performance that cannot be manually labeled, our method has great advantages. We we're like, oh, we can just like leave her here. She'll have fun in the water, and we'll go off for a couple hours and come back. We also compare with Lombardi's method. For fair comparison, we augment their method with our design, including additional cameras and estimating headset position. These designs improve their results a lot, but our method still produces an animation of much better quality. Thank you for watching!